and make some pitches. Okay. Oh, and this one's blasted. High and deep. It's on its way. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the season premiere of Stadium Spotlight. This is a show where we look at different unique stadiums in the show 23. And just like every season, we're going to start off the season looking at my own custom stadium. The stadium is called Astro World Park. I'll leave the information in the description so you can check it out for yourself. If you enjoyed the series and y'all want more, then please consider liking and subscribing. If you have your own stadium that you already built already here in the show 23 and you want me to check it out, make sure to leave your online ID and the name of the stadium in the comments below and I'll be sure to check it out. This stadium, not too complicated, but I think it looks pretty good. I didn't want to spend too much time on it because I do want to play other game modes, but I wanted a stadium to play at, a competitive stadium to play at when I play Event BR and especially mini seasons and i did use a template for this one but i literally destroyed the entire outfield the only thing i kept was behind home plate so i'll show you that real quick and we'll move on so nothing too crazy made the seats blue i think it looks awesome my team my team colors are blue but i'm gonna change that hopefully to like the phillies uh powder blues whatever that's not that's not important but i really do like the look of behind home plate especially this part right here i think this is brand new i think it looks awesome i did add some lights because this stadium was not lit when i first created it so i had to add some lights so down the left field line it is 300 to dead center field it is 403 with 404 being the furthest distance in left center field down the right field line it is 300. i think this might be the shortest competitive fences you can have but I think I'm going to make a different version and scoot the fences in like 280 or something like that. Just so I can have uh, easier time hitting home runs for mini seasons and challenges. So down the right field line, we have two decks of seats that connect to this building right here. And this building does go on towards the field, but we'll get to that in a second. On the building, we have the glove from Oracle Park, I believe. I forgot the name. I always try to always try to say ATT Ball Park. And we have a double stack bullpen. Can't believe they didn't <laughs> let us move bullpens in Creative Stadium. Um, I'll make a whole video about that later on. We have seats surrounding the bullpen. Above it, we have a second story. I wish you could add fans to walk around in because it looks empty, but I think it still looks cool. Add a scoreboard to the facade of the second deck. Up something, but you've got to make some pitches. Now, this one's well hit. Way back there. On its way and out of here. To right center field, pretty empty. It might add a waterfall later on, but. We have a little sweet area kind of thing, and then the Hall of Fame Memorial. Our batter's eye is the San Diego Padres batter's eye, and they still haven't added Minimi Park batter's eye, which I can't believe they haven't done yet. Just give us an IV, but whatever. That's besides the point. Above it, we have some more bars, as you can see, some buildings, and closing the stadium. To left center field, we have two decks of seats, or two decks of standing room. We have some concessions on the first story, a scoreboard on the facade of the second deck, and then we have the home run pump, a snack stand, and then a giant jumbotron up against the Orioles warehouse that's in the right field. And we also have lighting on top of the warehouse, and then beyond it, you can see a giant hotel overlooking the stadium. Swings and crushes one, right field, way back, and gone. So down left in line, we have two decks of seats with hotel rooms or suites right above it. I don't know why I'm obsessed with buildings within stadiums or at least overlooking them. Like in San Diego, kind of like Minute Maid and Atlanta, like we just have buildings overlooking stadiums. I think that looks awesome. So that's why I went ahead and added this and it was kind of boring. So I had to add something. Oh, this one's blasted. High and deep. It's on its way. Out of here. Okay. And that's pretty much it for the inside of the stadium. Not a lot. I didn't want to spend a lot of time making the stadium because I just mainly wanted to use the stadium for playing other modes. If y'all want to download it, information will be in the description. But let's go ahead and take a look at the outside of the stadium. This is what it looks like from above home plate. This is what it looks like from above center field. And here's a bird's eye view. So that's pretty much it for the season premiere of the Stadium Spotlight. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have your own stadium you want me to look at, make sure to put your online ID 
and the name of the stadium in the comments below and I'll be sure to check it out. Showdown videos coming out soon, maybe road of the show, but I doubt it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace. First double